Yeah, make sure you stand right in front of the crowd. Don't get distracted by them. Keep your game face on. You got it, Mr. Hunt. You remember what we're here for? Yeah, we're investigating the ethical dilemma that people seem to see in this place. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, sounds like you got the gist of it. Alright, Pat. Make sure you get decent footage of the mob. We need to see why they're here. Alright, guys. Anthropological Park's prison or paradise. Good evening, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and viewers from across the kingdom. This is Mia Kurtz reporting for K News from inside Darwin's Ark, Anthropological Park. Pandemonium erupted this morning as protesters from Amnesty International and the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Humans attempted to highlight the need for the ethical treatment of humans. Police are attempting to subdue the crowd hammering on the gates and lining the sidewalks. But these protesters seem determined to have their voices heard. Can you tell me why you're here today? Uh, for the same reason we all are, eh? These, these places just... They don't sit right in the soul, man. They aren't right. Humans are meant to be living life in the wild, eh? And, uh... Not squished into boring cages and watched by bored people. That kind of lifestyle, you know, it, it ain't natural, you know? Damn, please. In this segment, we will take an inside look into the popular Occidental Homo sapiens unit within the park itself and explore the ethical dilemma it poses. Do these parks exploit human suffering for voyeuristic entertainment? Or do they protect the lives and customs of a dying race? Pretty. Pretty. I've thrown away my toys. Even my drum and train. I want to make some noise. With real live aeroplanes. Someday I'm going to fly. Let's hurry. The Rabbitohs are playing soon. Can't miss the big game. Oh, good day, love. But, but they look like us, Mummy. <gasps> oh, what? Smiles on. They told us no visitors today. Look inviting. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's better just to stand your own and be an individual. Listen up, everyone. We are about to check the park. It will be dark in there. We might lose someone. It'll be okay. We stick together. Does everyone have their excursion, buddy? Rule number one, don't lose your family. What are they? Shush, don't disturb them, Stella. Humans are tricky things. Ooh, humans.
The ant colony is the essential family unit, consisting of hundreds of ants coinciding together. They are used socially and dependent on one another for survival. What a strange colony! Oh, 30. Noon. I thought we were going home. Look, like humans, like mummy. Why, why, why? Uh, what do they want? Who? 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 I, I can feel. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I believe that we must ask ourselves this. Would it be humane or simply cruel to release these humans back into their natural environment with the knowledge that their true natures and the keenness of their basic instincts have been entirely bred out? Will they perish as they try to maintain their habits developed whilst in captivity? Or will they simply revert to their natural states of being? This query remains unanswered, as humankind has long ago lost the ability to understand or speak for themselves, and thus remain reliant on the security of a monitored existence within this conservation institution. I am Mia Kurtz, reporting on behalf of K News. Thank you and good night. And that's a wrap, guys. Great job, team. <sighs> Next up, we're going to the safari park to catch some footage of these poor buggers in their natural environment. Come on, Pat. Let's get out of here. My body.